Okay. All right. Well, here we go with tutorial two. Um, I said I was making all these for a friend earlier. I shall give him a name, and I shall call him Nick. That may or may not be his real name, but uh, Nick, I assume that since I don't have a uh, map in my inbox, you need more. So here we are. <coughs> oh, excuse me. So uh, in this, we're going to do uh, whatever the hell this thing's called. Whatever the hell that thing's called. And then we're going to do a button. You can hit it. It's going to open the door. You're going to go through it. And then we already know that. That is what we are doing. I know you're excited. I'm excited. So, let's start it and just do a new map. Okay, so first off, let's just do a standard box. Go and, whoops, go and just choose a, uh, a texture to your liking. And make a box. Now, when you make this one hollow, you want to make it decidedly hollow than the earlier one. I said four, because we're going to try and make a door. Okay, so first off, we want to do the standard player start point. Yeah, well, that's already good. And then right underneath that, making sure that it's not in a wall or anything, right underneath that. Ah, nuts. Or anything make the gun. If you can do it better than I can. What the? <laughs> okay. What a gun. Okay. So um, so first let's do the uh, let's do the uh, wall projector deal. It's very easy. I mean, really. You just go hit prop and find. Whoops. Floor button, GLaDOS core, indicate later can not ragdoll. Tractor beam. Go and get it, put it on there. Great. So this is in a little bit wrong position, so we usually go to tools, transform, and then do it by uh, I think it's gonna be negative ninety Z. Nope, it's not. It's going to be ninety Z. Cool, then go, move it over, move it onto the wall. And that's literally it. Now it's going to work. It's going to sit there and it's going to, you know, tractor beam. And then over here, do another one. Again, just type in prop. And it's the same thing. Oh gosh, what is that called? Wall projector. And again, it's, you know, needs to be rotated a little bit. Looking good. And then just drag it over the wall. If you can do it better than I can. Where the hell is it? There we go. Oh, actually, I need to rotate that again. I think. Yeah, and it should work, like what was just seen. Okay, so then you land, and now we want to make another room for the door. So with this one, go over to an opposite wall. And then make a new make a new box. About that width is fine. That's what I would do. Cause you want to make like a little hallway or whatever. I would say that looks good. Great. So it's nice and long. It's right there. It's on the floor. Enter uh, and make hollow. Four. You definitely want to make the, the wall pretty thin because it makes the door look a little bit better. I don't entirely have it figured out. And then you want to move it so it's directly over. Because the thing about when we're, what we're about to do, you can really mess up your map and make it so it won't load in. Okay, so then right in front of us is where our new little hallway is. So then you want to make a new entity and put it in front of it and you want to choose a door. So let's do let's do test test chamber door. Isn't that nice? So this is facing the wrong way. So let's do 180. Okay. So then you want to go to the top down and move it so it's right in front. Okay. 
that's a little high. And the hallway is a little thin. Something like that. Looks okay, a little bit of clipping there. Whoops, I'm moving the wrong thing. Oh, that's part of the door. Okay, anyway. Uh, great. So there's a door. It's very exciting. And then let's make a button. Whoops. Let's make it a button. So here we go. There's a button. Go back to your door, double click it, and give it a name. Door. Go back to the button. And then you want to do outputs, add another output, and then on pressed, door open. Whoops. Find open. Open. That's it. Now the door will open. You can make it close, so you do on reset, on button reset, door close. And give it like two second delay. And then of course because you want to end the level. So go back here, make another box, right over there in the corner. Whoops. And you want to choose trigger. This is the same thing as we did in the previous tutorial. Obviously when we're doing the, the end level. So go there, hit control T, choose trigger once. Apply it, and then you want to do the two entities on top. There's this point client command. Name it disconnect, or name it end. Disconnect. And do the other one. And then this one is end fade. Whoops. Apply and fade. Go back to this, then you gotta do the two outputs on trigger and fade, fade, and then on trigger and disconnect. Command, whoops, disconnect, play two seconds. There we go. Whoops. There we go. And then you should load it up and it should work fine. You good? You digging it? You liking it? I'm good. Okay. So there we go. You got that. You got this. Isn't that exciting? You go over. You press the button. Opens up. Oops. I forgot to do a step. <laughs> <laughs> Let's try this again. <laughs> okay, so everything was perfect except go back to your door and I forgot to do the car. So now what you want to do is you want to make another block right in front of the door. I totally forgot to do this. Make another block right in front of the door. You want to put it right in front of the door and you want to make it the size of the door. So move your viewpoint so you're exactly looking at it. And you want to make it so like it's pretty much the exact size of the door at all the biggest points. Something like that. You want to make sure it's a little, it's just a half step up off the ground. Because the thing about Carve, you never want to do Carve. Carve can really F stuff up in your map. Um, so you want it to be a half a, like a, just a half an inch off the ground or something like that. So, enter. Ah, crap, I used the wrong. I used trigger. Because your map won't load if, uh, if it can see the outside. And that creates all these issues. Okay, something like that. Okay. Uh, 
right? And then go to Tools, Carve, and then Delete. So now you have an empty passageway that goes through. And you can go and look. If, there's, if you can see the outside world, you'll see all this black, and then it won't work. Okay, let's try that again. So then that whole method right there where you have the button and then you just associate button press with something else, you can do that with anything. You can start the you can start the tractor beam being off and then when you press the button it turns it on. Or you can start the tractor beam on the blue and then when you press the button it reverses. So that's all you have to do in order to switch everything is you just have to attach whatever button you have to whatever you want to affect. Opens up. Goes in and level done. There we go. Isn't that easy? That's it.